Welcome chefs to the very first episode of The Queen of Sauce. I'm your host Mariz and today we are diving deep into the heart of Pelican Town's finest flavors. All thanks to the help of the official Stardew Valley cookbook. I actually received a free copy of this book from Random House Worlds and it came with these cute little villager stickers, an incredible Junimo hat, and even some fresh ingredients to cook a specific meal from the book with. But I did buy one of the official cookbooks myself when the book was first announced on Twitter, so now I have two and you know what that means. It's giveaway time. So make sure you stay tuned till the end of this video to find out how to get your hands on a free Stardew Valley cookbook. But without any further ado, let's hop into today's meal. <laughs> On today's menu, we are whipping up Lucky Lunch, a tangy mix of poached shrimp and fresh vegetables nestled between two star-shaped toasted tortillas delivers a cool, refreshing blast of seafood flavor with every bite. The tortilla stars can be broken up into chips as you eat, or if you're feeling especially adventurous and have plenty of napkins handy, you can try eating the whole thing like a sandwich. After you cleaned up your plate, you're bound to feel like the spirits are smiling down on you all day long. That's so cute because in Stardew Valley, Lucky Lunch gives you good luck. For this recipe, we need shrimp, garlic cloves, red onions, jalapenos, Persian cucumber, rainbow cherry tomatoes, yellow corn tortillas, avocado, chives, cilantro, romaine lettuce, and a star stencil. So I am not like the greatest cook ever, so this is going to be a learning process for everybody involved. I've never even like actually followed a cookbook before. So how does this work? In a large saucepan over medium high heat, bring the water to a boil. Okay, let's get some water boiling. Stir in two tablespoons of lime juice and one tablespoon of salt. Please don't judge my technique here. Like I said, I am a beginner, but we all gotta start somewhere. Can't even cut it. Hi, everybody. I'm gonna show Mariz how to cut stuff because Mariz don't know how to cut things. I don't. You could probably get away with using this one for the lime, but if we didn't have this one, let me show you the technique that you would do. First, you would take this pointy tip up here, Whoa. stab it okay. to get it in, okay. and then you can give it a cut. But Honestly, this one would probably be cut easier if you just take one of these, Ooh. slice it right in there. So I just squeeze this in. I'm so excited to eat this. The photo looks, I was honestly kind of questioning the photo. I was like, I don't know about this. This looks kind of crazy. It looks very like, I don't know, hard to do, but we're just going for it. Also, they provided us with some ingredients for this. So I was like, I don't want all the ingredients to go to waste. Shout out to Random House Worlds. That was so nice of them to give me some fresh ingredients. I was not expecting that at all. Two tablespoons of lime juice. One tablespoon of salt. Boop. Cut the shrimp into half inch pieces and place in a large bowl. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> you can throw some extra shrimp in there. Extra shrimp ain't gonna hurt yeah, nobody. What's wrong with some extra shrimp? Let's do a little bit of a knuckle action here. Yeah, that's right. I'm a professional. Okay, so it says, cut the shrimp into half inch pieces. So just in half, you think? I like little bites of things. I'm little bite gang. Say something into the main can and then side can it. Did you know that the Stardew Valley cookbook is pescatarian? Okay, we got the shrimp cut. Let's get the ASMR going. lime juice on my mic. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I didn't know it was gonna be on camera today. You look beautiful. Keep the shrimp in the hot liquid until cooked. Oh. Oh, we put this in there? Yeah, but this is already cooked. Well, we can just throw it in there for a little. That might actually not be the best thing to do. It's just gonna make them hot. The, our goal is to make them cold. This I feel like we just don't have to do that boiling water step. Okay. Keep shrimp in the hot liquid until just cooked through, but these are, these already, are already cooked. cooked. So Should we, we just like put some lime juice on it then? Well, yeah, we're just gonna skip the boiling step. Okay. Before you cook a recipe, read make it. sure you read the recipe. Yeah. All we're gonna do now is just cut everything and combine and then keep it in the fridge for about two hours, like ceviche. And I'll read the recipe to see what we can do in the meantime. Two tablespoons of olive oil. Granulated sugar. Three fourths teaspoon. I feel weird putting sugar on shrimp. <laughs> it's about the mix. Remember, remember that. Remember it's about the that. mix. Okay, 
Um, two garlic cloves grated. Cutting tutorial. So the way I would do this is I would cut these parts off so you can get to the garlic, cut off the ends. What would I do without you? I don't even want to know what you would be doing right now <laughs> if you were filming this by yourself, dude. <laughs> Me either. Oh, it smells good. Now these are just, now just treat them like normal garlic cloves. Sorry, we just, just want to use the ones that were so graciously gifted to us mm -hmm. by, who was it? Random House Worlds. By Random House Worlds. Thank you, Random House Worlds. Whatever that means. Two garlic cloves graved. I guess let's just do that. <laughs> I'm afraid I'm gonna like cut myself. Just be gentle. Recipe breakdown with Yair. Recipe breakdown, okay. So let's get this straight because clearly we have no idea what we're doing, but I understand now. <laughs> the lucky lunch is a shrimp ceviche on a bed of greens, mm -hmm. okay. As we can see in the photo, what we're doing right now, we're making the ceviche, which is the shrimp combined with all of these vegetables and the lime juice, all of that. Mm -hmm. And then after that, we're gonna put it in the fridge because the ceviche if you don't know typically you make the ceviche with a fish a white fish and then you the lime cooks the white fish it's a weird phenomenon i'm not entirely sure how it works but we're doing it with shrimp because i don't know shrimp are, shrimp is lucky i guess what's gonna happen is we're gonna put it in there let it cook let it cook we're gonna let it cook while we're doing that we're gonna be doing the star mm -hmm. which is the next step in this mm -hmm. which is where we're gonna cut the star it's, it's the star of the show star of sorry, star of the show you're gonna cut the star and we're going to put it in the oven to cook then when it's all over we're gonna rest the ceviche on a bed of greens throw the star on there with some avocados and we'll get to eat that bad boy. Does that make any sense to you? What I'm spitting right now? I think now? so. It's the rundown. It's the rundown. Thank you very much. Now next is red onion. Half small red onion, finely chopped. Onion. Now, Yair's coming to help me. <laughs> Once again, <laughs> onions are pretty annoying to cut. Back in my line cook days, lore drop, lore drop. I hated cutting onions because they would make me cry. The way that I would approach it is cut off the ends. That's my go-to for anything. This is the annoying part. Peeling? You're gonna have to peel off I the top layer. I love peeling, are you kidding me? Go, go ahead, go ahead. Peel off the top layer. I don't know, peeling is just so satisfying to me. What, what does the recipe call for? Half, small, finely chopped. So you're just gonna cut it in half. You're just gonna say, it says finely chopped. Mm -hmm. You're just gonna go at it like this. Shout out to Mr. J my high school culinary teacher. I think he got arrested. <laughs> what? <laughs> Not like for like anything like really bad, but I think he was um, helping teachers cheat on their teacher tests. I'm just gonna like, I'm gonna do it the Mersey way. No one's telling me not to do it the Mersey way. It might be a little chaotic, but it's gonna get done. Originally we were gonna do like a multiple course meal. And I'm so glad we're not doing that because this is already taking so long. I pity the fool who has to sit through all of this to edit it. I am the fool. Haha. -ha. Next, jalapeno. Cut the end off. Cut the ends off and then slice it in half. In half like this? No, 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 the other way. In half like this. Thinly sliced. So like this way? Yeah, I, I, I think so. Thank you. That looks kind of thick to me. Hey. I'm joking. Hey, I'm joking. I'm a beginner. Hey, as long as all the ingredients taste the same. Mm-hmm. One large Persian cucumber, quartered lengthwise and cut into half inch pieces. What the hell does that mean? Let's think about this critically, lengthwise. Length. Long. Length. The long way. This would be width, yeah. right? So quartered lengthwise. So quartered, that's one fourth. So I'm just gonna go for it. So I'm gonna assume lengthwise quartered is like that. Hmm, like I'm, a little pickle spear. Yeah, and then I'm gonna assume that cut into half, half inch pieces. I, I got this, I got this part. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna let you take over. Okay. 
cherry tomatoes. You need to make sure you get gay tomatoes for this one. The recipe calls for gay tomatoes. This will not work with straight tomatoes. How do you get the recipe of Lucky Lunch in Stardew Valley? You're the Stardew Master. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm more of a spicy eel girl than a Lucky Lunch girl. Look it up on the wiki. Wait, what am I looking up? Just give us some facts about Lucky Lunch. Okay, okay, okay. Lucky Lunch, plus three look, buff duration, 11 minutes and 11 seconds. You get it on the Queen of Sauce, spring 28, year two. Interesting. The ingredients are sea cucumber, tortilla, and blue jazz. So it actually is a tortilla on there. Mm. Where's the blue jazz though? <laughs> and I don't see a sea cucumber. We got real cucumbers. Mm -hmm. This recipe is profitable. It will result in profit when using the lowest quality ingredients. Interesting. There's not a lot of those in my game. No. Does anybody love this gift? No. <laughs> People like it though. Oh, okay. But Krobus, Leo, and Willie dislike this. So don't give it to them. Tea. Lucky Lunch is used in the spool of a sewing machine to create a shirt. Mariz will put a photo of the shirt on the screen now. Me personally, I think it's a little tacky, but I can see why somebody might like this. <laughs> okay, tomatoes done. Right. One teaspoon of salt. You see, on other cooking shows, they don't show this stuff. This is real. This is real. Not everybody's a good cook. Not everybody's even a good cutter. Example you know? number one. So if you got a problem with it, I suggest you go down in the comments below <laughs> and say what you got to say. As a matter of fact, stop hiding behind the screen. Come to the house. Merge, put the address on the <laughs> screen right here. So what were you saying about the lime? Cut another one of the limes. Pour it into there and then we'll pour it on top. I feel like that would be too much. I know you like lime. Fine. It's not even a half a cup. I think this is fine. Dude, you literally drink like lime juice like this. Like you love lime. Cut to cut to a shot of me eating lime earlier. Yeah, literally. <laughs> You're crazy. That's what the recipe calls okay. for. Okay. Okay. We're actually putting less than what the recipe calls for. Are we? Yeah. Cause it said half a, it said six tablespoons, right? All right, then you want to do more? Let's do more. No, 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 just do it, just do it. Cause I'm actually not even sure. <laughs> you know what? That's fine. Yeah. We actually, actually, no, it's fine, it's fine. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna say anything else. It's way too much? No, it's not way too much. It's just, you know, it's fine. It's perfect. It's perfect. It was a little under half a cup and six tablespoons is a little under half a cup. I'm gonna put it in the fridge and I'm also gonna be attacked by stuffed animals when I do. Ah! Ah! All right, so the next step, I'm not sure how this is gonna go, but we're gonna try our best. We have 12 corn tortillas and a star stencil, which is just a piece of paper. Um, I was hoping to find like a cookie cutter thing when we were out buying ingredients, but we did not find one. So we're gonna try our best here. The bottom one? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We'll have a couple pretty ones. Careful, SpongeBob. <laughs> Careful, SpongeBob. All right, the moment of truth. Okay, they're all right. Oh my goodness. Oh. They're little stars. All right, let's see the bottom one. Oh. oh no. Oh, that's so sad. Most of them were good. Yeah. Save the little extras, make some little chippies. Oh, we're cooking. We are quite literally cooking. Now, before you do that, before you do that, the recipe says to salt it liberally. What does that mean? Whatever that means. I think that's pretty liberal. It's giving Joe Biden. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get a close up of these. <laughs> Ew. Okay, so now the next step is just on top. Oh! <gasps> maybe we'll just, yeah, maybe we'll just do that. And then salt it liberally. Okay, hold on, hold on. Hmm. 
You need to salt it liberally. <laughs> there, it should be good now. Cool, thanks. I almost forgot the most important step <laughs> to salting liberally. Ooh, those stars look beautiful. They do. We're ready to pop them in the oven. We preheated the oven to 350 degrees. Now we wait. A few moments later. We burnt some of them, <laughs> but the, the good ones are good. They're a little crisp, but I think these are good. These on the other hand, um, not so sure about. What's that looks pretty good, honestly. We're gonna cut some greens off screen just to do it really fast. And then we will, when we come back, we will have the finished lucky lunch for you. And we'll give it a, a try. Is that a burnt one? Girl. It's not that bad. Okay, it's pretty bad. <laughs> All right, we are almost complete. Let's open up the ceviche that we mixed up earlier. It smells really good. It does? Oh yeah, it smells fresh. So you're saying we pour the avocado in here? Avocado, all of that stuff on the cutting board, pour it in there. Oh, that looks scrumptious. <laughs> Give it a mix. Dude, cooking is exhausting. Like, damn, I need a nap. All right, now we just have to make the plate look pretty. So you're gonna set the bed of lettuce, ceviche, star, ceviche, star, ceviche, star. A bed of lettuce. It says- I'm gonna do like two scoops. Yeah, two scoops. It says one third cup. That's probably like two scoops. And then a chip. Yeah, you're gonna do this three times. I'm just gonna say, look how cute these chips came out. It's not necessary to do it like this, but it's so damn cute. Mm -hmm. So you, I just put one here. Yeah. Put one there. We did it. We finished it. And now we're gonna do our taste test. I'm feeling lucky. It was all worth it, bro. Holy <laughs> shit. Oh my God. Genuinely, I'm I literally just drooled out of my mouth. Wow. Yeah, this is genuinely incredible. I, I gotta admit, I was a little skeptical of this meal. I was like, it's it looks a little dry on the photo. Like, I don't know how, like, there, is there no dressing? But I don't know, that lime juice. It was lime. It all brings it all together. The avocado, but the chips too, like, it's so good. Scrum diddly umptious. Yeah. It's kind of a messy meal. So have some napkins ready. Dude, no, I'm ready to go to the mines now. Mm-hmm. I'm feeling lucky. I'm feeling that plus three luck. Let's go to Skull Cavern, dude. We're like <laughs> exhausted. <laughs> this video is probably pretty short. It's been like three hours. Yeah. I'm sure you're all wondering how you can get your hands on my extra copy of the Stardew Valley cookbook. This giveaway will be limited to US only. I'm so sorry. But to enter this giveaway, all you have to do is subscribe to my channel, give this video a like, and comment down below which Stardew Valley meal you would want to cook the most if you got your hands on this cookbook. The winner will be picked two weeks from when this video gets uploaded, and I personally will be responding to your comment and finding a way to reach out to you. Hopefully this lucky lunch will send you all good luck. Thank you so much for watching. Let us know if you guys want to see more Queen sauce yeah let me know there's so many there, recipes there are here. so many recipes in here i really want to do the pink cake recipe i feel like baking would be fun baking is where i would shine i'll wow. just we'll probably end up doing another We're, one the, yeah you're <laughs> these are just so this was just like this is amazing like this is genuinely so good it really is thanks for watching the, the queen, queen of sauce